Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the viral Chipotle Philly cheesesteak quesadillas with the Chipotle vinaigrette, so let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by making the Chipotle honey vinaigrette. In a blender, add a half a cup of red wine vinegar, a quarter cup of water, a quarter cup of honey, one tablespoon of adobo sauce, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and one teaspoon of oregano. Once you've added all of your ingredients, blend everything until well combined. Next, add one cup of a neutral oil. Chipotle uses rice bran oil, but I don't have that, so I'm using vegetable oil. And if you don't want to use vegetable oil, canola oil is also a good substitute for rice bran oil. Once everything is well combined, transfer your vinaigrette into a container. Then set it to the side until you're ready to use it. Next, we're going to prepare the steak. We're going to begin by making the marinade. In a blender, add one can of chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. 1 tablespoon of minced garlic, half a red onion, 2 teaspoons of salt, 1 teaspoon of pepper, 2 teaspoons of cumin, 4 teaspoons of paprika, 2 teaspoons of oregano, and 2 tablespoons of olive oil. Now blend everything together for 1 to 2 minutes. Next add 1 cup of water. Then blend everything together for another 1 to 2 minutes. Next, place a flank steak in a Ziploc bag. Then pour your marinade in the bag. Close the Ziploc bag and make sure that your steak is covered in the marinade. Now place your steak in the fridge for around 2 hours or overnight. After your steak has finished marinating, you can begin cooking it. In a pan over medium high heat, add some olive oil. Then place the steak in the pan and make sure you place it away from you so none of the oil splashes on you. Once you've placed the steak in the pan, sear it for 3 to 4 minutes. Then flip it over and sear it on the other side for another 3 to 4 minutes. Once you've finished searing your steak, take it out of the pan. Place the steak on a cutting board and then cover it with tin foil and let it rest for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, remove the tin foil and cut your steak into small pieces. When you're finished, place the steak back into the pan and saute it for one minute or until it is cooked to your liking.
Once you have finished cooking the steak, take it off the heat and set it to the side. Next, we're going to prepare the fajitas. First, slice half a green bell pepper. Then slice half a red onion. Next, in a pan over medium heat, add olive oil. Then add your bell peppers and onions into the pan. Next, add a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and a half a teaspoon of oregano. Saute the bell peppers and onions for about 3-5 to five minutes or until they are soft but not mushy. When you have finished cooking your veggies, remove them from the pan and set them to the side. Now we can finally begin assembling our quesadilla. First, place a tortilla on a cutting board. Then on one side of the tortilla, add mozzarella cheese. Then add the steak. Next, add your veggies. And finally, add some more cheese on top. Then fold the tortilla. When you have finished assembling your quesadilla, place it in the same pan you cooked your steak. Cook the quesadilla over medium heat until toasted and golden brown on both sides. Once your quesadilla is finished cooking, take it out of the pan, cut it into pieces, and plate it up. And this is the finished result! The quesadilla was delicious and the vinaigrette was so good it tasted just like the one from Chipotle. The Philly cheesesteak quesadilla has been trending all over TikTok. The trend was started by Alexis Frost and Keith Lee. I'll have their videos linked in the description below. Since the quesadillas went viral, Chipotle has stopped allowing people to order it. However, now you can make it at home or wait until March when it's available on the app. Oh, and don't forget to mix the vinaigrette with the sour cream to enjoy with your quesadilla. By the way, I got the recipe for the Chipotle Honey Vinaigrette from My Savage Kitchen on TikTok. They used to work at Chipotle, so this recipe is legit, and I'll have the link to it in the description. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!